Hi, I'm Jeff Lovell, a staff accountant with AA Accounting, and today we're discussing the basics of basis for S-Corporation shareholders. Stock basis is an important tax concept that can save you money. It attempts to track the value of a shareholder's after-tax investment in their company's stock and is used to determine whether any corporate operating losses are deductible on the shareholder's personal tax return, whether any cash or property distributed from the corporation to the shareholder is taxable, and how much gain or loss would be recognized on the sale or other disposition of the company's stock. Your stock basis is equal to the after-tax money you invest in the corporation, minus any money or property you take out of the company, plus any profits, minus any losses. To deduct a loss from an S corporation, the shareholder must have enough stock basis to absorb the loss. For example, if Bob is the sole shareholder in an S corporation that incurs a $35,000 loss in 2016, he can deduct that loss up to his basis. If his basis prior to considering this loss is $20,000, he can deduct that $20,000 of the loss on his 2016 return. The $15,000 excess loss will be carried forward to his 2017 return, where he will hopefully have enough basis to deduct it. Distributions of cash and property from an S corporation to its shareholders are generally tax-free, provided they have enough basis to absorb the distributions. If in a year when Bob's stock basis is already zero, he transfers title of a work truck worth $5,000, and transfers another $15,000 to his personal checking account to help pay for his daughter's wedding, he'll report a total $20,000 capital gain on his tax return. He could avoid reporting that gain by having had at least $20,000 in basis at the beginning of the year. Shareholders must report any gain or loss from the disposition of their stock regardless of how they dispose of it. If Bob agrees to sell his business to a longtime buddy for $150,000 at a time when his stock basis is $100,000, Bob only has to report the difference of $50,000 as a capital gain on his tax return. He would pay more taxes if he sold the business for more than $150,000 or if he had had less stock basis. He would reduce his tax bill by either selling the business for less or by having had more stock basis. It's the shareholder's individual responsibility to keep track of their stock basis. The IRS treats your stock basis by default as zero. Any higher basis number must be supported by documentation under audit. Good record keeping, therefore, can produce huge tax savings for shareholders and is well worth any additional documentation cost. Tax basis can be a complex subject, and this video only covers the basics. If you have a question about this topic or have other tax questions, call the experts at AA Accounting. We're available year-round to assist you and look forward to hearing from you.